that all the time but she also shows her in there what is she about right <laughs> Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you grow your no like trust on Facebook because is as you know if you're building a business online you need to have people trust you before they'll buy from you so how do you get to grow your no like trust the process is relatively simple but you can do all sorts of things the wrong way so let's talk about how to do that the right way so let's uh, get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so it doesn't matter what you're doing online if you're trying to sell anything a course or you're trying to be a, if you're trying to coach people trying to sell your coaching services or you're an affiliate or anything else like that you need people will need to trust you before they buy from you and before they trust you they need to like you and before they like you they need to know you so how do you do that how do you grow that last weekend I was actually in a workshop that kind of went through the basics of all that and it's something that you know I've been doing for a long time but it's always nice to have a refresher and this was a really good refresher so I'm going to go into that kind of talk to you about what they kind of um made me remember and, you know and what the process is the basics of it and uh but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis414.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and it'll be a lot easier than just listening to the audio so let's get right to it so let's go to the screen here so here's one here's the basics of what they were talking about right the, the three activities the build engage sell and actually and you know the four phases of growth your know, social media network the, you're going through this growth phase and the the six pillars I mean all and then types of posts I mean there's so much stuff but if you want to grow your audience you got to do this these three steps build engage them I'm not going to go into all these other things but you can kind of get an idea of of the the levels of uh things that you got to go through before you actually get to say paid advertising and scaling I mean I know I know for me I spent thousands of dollars in advertising before really being ready and even today I don't feel I'm completely ready uh, that I should be to go start spending money on advertising so I mean I got to go through this too right I kind of went through but drew, going through it with an intention is different and then you know the six pillars of online marketing if you don't have these things you will struggle and I'm not going to necessarily go through this maybe I will a little bit but just to get an idea of what are the things that you need to have as a defined before you can start to really get results <coughs> but it starts with posting right okay if I go back here right build your audience build your audience engage your audience I actually took some notes too let's just uh, take a look at the notes I took so I mean when we're talking about building bes right build engage and sell right so the first thing you gotta do is you gotta build an audience what does that mean what does it mean to build an audience right it means you know growing an email list growing your followers growing your friends what and and if you're on other social media platforms obviously it's the likes on your Facebook page but it's also maybe your connections on LinkedIn maybe it's your followers on Instagram or on TikTok or even your you know your your friends on snapchat even right so and but the thing is that when you're starting out don't be doing all that I mean I'm doing all that but I've been doing it for a long time and even even then I maybe I shouldn't be doing that because I'm not getting necessarily the results I want so maybe it's because I'm doing too much right maybe I should just focus but that's a topic for another day right now let's just talk about what the, this build engage cell is so engaging is basically creating content that they're going to see and engage on so on Facebook obviously that's creating posts right but what kind of posts what do you need to post is we're going to get into that you got to be sending them emails and I'm not saying you have to be doing all this I'm just saying these are examples of how you engage with your audience 
if you have an email list how do you engage your email list well you send emails right but if you don't have an email list then obviously you don't need to worry about sending emails <clears throat> on Facebook you're going to be wanting to comment on posts and that means actually being you know looking at the post and making a comment that's relevant to the post I mean you know you could just say awesome and nice and whatever I do that sometimes too and you can do that but it's not going to be as effective as saying like somebody say post a picture of um uh, let me try to remember something oh somebody post a picture of them swimming uh, in, in on vacation right you can just say awesome looks like you're having lots of fun you can say uh, that looks great you can say wow but what if you said something like that's so cool how long have you been there is this your first time visiting um have, did you go and do any snorkeling did you do you know like ask a question too right that's kind of what that means commenting you want to be engaging on the post because you want people to be seeing you on social media you want them to be you know uh noticing you and and it all starts with just commenting on their posts and being in their notifications obviously but just that won't do anything really right um that enough that you know engaging other people's posts and and just doing that is not going to be enough by the way we're going to get into the rest in a second <clears throat> the other thing is having conversations with them what does that mean right it can be a phone call it can be a messenger Facebook messenger message uh any other mechanism even if even you know a zoom call or or, or engaging or sending an email and replying to an email and replying to their reply and that you know whatever a conversation right having a conversation with them and then that's when you get to sell them your product you won't be able to sell anything to anybody that doesn't know like and trust you so that's why we're talking about growing your know like trust the basics of growing your know like trust is posting I mean if I look at the people that are posting in my feed right if I look at these posts these posts are making me know them right like you know Kim Kim is one of my friends she's posting all the time I get to know what where she lives what she does uh, same thing with um <clears throat> with, with Sherry Brown right she's got a book and she talks about that all the time but she also shows her in there what is she about right uh Valerie is another good friend she po posts about her uh, struggles you know her her life her you know that's kind of and and but and this is an ad here but and you can have just posts like this too right people are posting like Chris is a friend too and he po he's posting you know this is actually actually you know what let's get into the Facebook post because you should be posting different kinds of posts in Facebook you can't be posting all the time like quotes or all the time about your business or all the time about so you got to be uh, making it like if I if you look at my profile you can kind of see okay well first you see my cover photo you can kind of see okay I'm I've got a family right and um you can uh, see my wife and two daughters there and you can also see my profile picture that is me it's not you know some a dog or some other logo or something right it's actually me so when you look at my profile you can see right away that I'm a person right obviously I you know I'm not saying um people can can copy post uh, you can have fake profiles whatever but the, but if you are a real person you want to make sure that you have a real profile picture now your cover photo by the way doesn't have to be your family um it, lots of people lots of leaders talk about posting some like for example something about your offer maybe you have a group on Facebook that kind of stuff but let's not get, let's not get into that I'm just saying make sure that when somebody goes to your profile they see you and what you're about a little bit they can kind of tell that you know and this is a, a picture I posted there of you know the 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 uh, the workshop I was in and this is picture of me you know growing these little plants right and and this is my family uh activities and the uh, sunsets and sunrises and my 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 other older daughter here that got married and uh, other things going on right so obviously if you look through my profile there's a lot of stuff about my family but there's also stuff about what I teach and I probably have to improve that even more but as you can tell I'm not always I'm not posting about business opportunities and things like that okay now let's get to the actual 
types of posts you should be posting on Facebook right when I showed you this here let's go back here personal branding yeah. okay so here's the kinds of posts and this is from a training that I can send you a training if you'd like on all this that is done by one of the awesome, most awesome leaders Erin Birch she does a training on all this explains this very well uh I mean I can kind of show you a little bit here this 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 comes from here which is from uh, my lead system pro and they are in the business of training people it is this whole thing here that shows you all these different posts why these posts are good and I'm not going to go through that because that's a lot of work um, and it would we would not have enough time to go through that but there is training I can send you if you're interested on how to do all that right okay so let's just kind of talk a little bit about this what are the different posts okay well actually before I do that here's the thing if you are posting if you're building a business online you're trying to sell a course or like I said any of those things you need people to trust you before they'll buy you right and for them to trust you they need to like you they need to like you if they don't like you they're not gonna trust you you know you know nobody likes somebody nobody trusts somebody they don't like that's usually why you don't like them because you don't trust them right or well maybe not but still <laughs> that's probably mostly true right most times if you don't trust somebody it's because because you don't like them it's really that simple right so so knowing that knowing that you need people to trust you right and for them to trust you they need to like you that's the, that's a given right for them to trust you yeah, let's go back to the notepad here so do I have that in okay I just kind of copied all that but let's just go over here let's just say this for them to buy from you they must trust you right for them to buy from you they have to trust you that's that's a given you need people to trust you before they buy from you but and but you're saying well js how, how do I get there I mean if I'm posting they don't even nobody nobody knows me how do I get them to right uh that's a good question because it's exactly what happens for them to trust you they must like you <laughs> they have to like you they have to like you to trust you and you're like well JS but how do I get them to like me they don't even know me that's the point that's exactly the point because for them to like you they must know you I mean you're not gonna you're not gonna like somebody until you know them right until you know what they're about until you know what their values are until you know what their education level is maybe until you know where they're from until you know the kinds of activities they've done until you know what they you know what they do if you know maybe you like people that have kids and you don't like people that don't have kids so if somebody if you if 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 you're seeing somebody posting about you know activities without kids maybe you're not really going to be connected you're not going to feel connected to them so you're going to find people that like you because they know you so how do you and this is where the this is where these kinds of posts come in right these kinds of posts will get people to know to know you so for them to know you you must be posting on social media if you want like if you just think about it think about how that is in real life how do you get somebody to uh, it's no different in real life if you're a salesman if you're a car salesman or you're an encyclopedia which obviously doesn't exist anymore but if you're an encyclopedia salesman or you're a somebody trying to build a business you got a coffee shop or a restaurant or you have you know maybe you do you 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 paint uh homes or maybe you're a contractor that does does you know renovation work you know whatever it is whatever business you're in 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 the real world right let's forget online in the real world it's exactly the same thing 
why would you hire a contractor in the phone book right that you have no clue who they are right well because you trust that their name is in the phone book because they're trustworthy mm, maybe maybe no because you trust them because a friend of yours gave you their name and that friend said they do good work you trust that friend right so there's the whole referral thing going on here which you know we can translate to social media too but let's forget about necessarily that what if you don't have a friend that referred them and you don't really trust be just because they're in the phone book that means they're you should hire them so what do you normally do right you maybe call two or three contractors get them all to come to your house so you meet them in person and you get a feel for them right and if you that's probably the the minimal that most people do right you don't you don't just call somebody just out of the blue if you don't know them right so you got to be you got to at least meet them probably right what's the other way that it happens in the real world is you actually meet them in person someplace else right and you get to know them a little bit and you find out you know maybe they have a, a cabin on the lake next to your cabin right and, or maybe you meet them at the grocery store and they're buying the same kind of food that you're the, or maybe you have a conversation or whatever it is but you get to know them a little bit so that you maybe you like them because you know they have the same uh, the same activities as you maybe they have kids and they're going to horse camp as well or maybe they maybe their kids go to the same school and, and your kids are friends and you ended up connecting that way right whatever it is you end up knowing them so that you like them and that's when you maybe trust them because because you know that or whatever it, you know I'm, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about right in the real world that's kind of how it works so to translate that to the online social media world like to Facebook this is why we talk about these kinds of posts these kinds of posts will get your audience to know you that's all you that's all you can do that's all you can do you can only get them to know you on social media you need to get them to know you that's that's all the risk comes automatically you don't need to worry about how do you how do you get them to trust me how do I get them to like me how do I get them you don't need to worry about those two higher level things if you want they come automatically so be, now that we know that well let's just you know post so there's a couple other things here's another thing um actually um let's just say for them to see your posts you you must be engaging so here's the thing on social media on Facebook okay on Facebook there's a few things you've got to be doing so number one you must be engaging engaging on their posts number two your profile whoops your profile must be public number three your comments on your posts for public must be whoops must be enabled and number four your profile must be inviting okay so that's uh, your picture your picture your bio oops your bio your cover photo okay so those are the things oh let's scroll that up a little bit so those are the things if you want if you want to build a business online you, you basically need to do this but the nice thing about this like these ones right number two three and four they're just things you do once you you set it up do it once I'm actually going to kind of show you let's show you how to do that first of all your profile must be public what does that mean that means that if you go to your profile and you click on these three little buttons here then you go to uh da -da -da -da, profile and tag oh that's under let's scroll down here so you go to profile and tagging settings you want to make sure of a couple things first you want to have 
uh, who can post on your profile I have that to friends I don't want people to be posting on my page but who can see what others post I want it to be everyone I don't know I don't even know what what I guess that doesn't really matter don't worry about that okay here's the thing this is tagging and profile uh, profile this is not even what I want to talk about this is fine if you leave your profile and tagging to this you might I have it like this who can see posts you're tagged in I want that to be everyone but then when you're tagged in a post who do you want to add to the audience of the post they, okay that's not it oh yeah there you go reviewing you probably want to set the reviewing let me move this camera okay you probably want to set the reviewing of posts because you know I get tagged by people that try to sell you know Ray-Ban glasses or or some some others are like you know ministers and they post they tag me and all their stuff and I'm like well I, I don't want I don't need that on my post but it would be nice if I could just have my wife's post just automatically approved but anyways whenever she tags me I have to go and approve me but at least I don't get these weird posts on my profile unless I approve them right so you might want to do that but it really depends on you the other thing is over this is the this is the important part if you want <coughs> if you want uh where where's my <laughs> your profile must be public okay when we talk about profiles being public you can say who can follow me oh my god sorry about that <laughs> you got to make sure that this is set to public because if that's not set to public what will happen is people won't be able to follow you they won't be able to well yeah they won't be able to follow you but you want people to be able to follow you because you can have more than 5,000 followers where you can whereas you can only have 5,000 friends right uh, I've talked about kind of explains a little bit there but that's one thing public post commenters who can comment on your public posts the default here is usually friends or friends of friends I'm not sure if which one is the default but you want to set that to public right you want to make sure that people anybody can comment on their post why you might be like well I don't want like trolls and scammers to comment or you know these people saying hey I saw your profile you're such a beautiful lady I would I was trying to send you a friend request but I couldn't can you please send me a friend request you know those kinds of comments right you'll get those kinds of comments because that because there is some people like that on Facebook that are, that are using it to scam people and stuff and you might be like I was told not to enable that well the thing you have to remember is that any comment uh, on Facebook increases the engagement of others on your post because Facebook sees a comment as an additional check mark on your post saying hey this post I should show it to other people and that causes engagement because other people see the post and they they probably comment on it if they see it enough if there's enough people that see it right every time there's a comment or reaction on your post that means that potentially other people will see it because Facebook will actually share it you should be watching your comments on your post anyways because you should be reacting and commenting back so that means that this scammer that posts on you can just delete that that comment from your post if you want but you should have it set to public okay so that's one thing the other one is public post notifications that uh that's really up to you I guess notifications I I like to get notifications from it, everything public profile info who can like or comment on your public profile picture and other that's again public uh off Facebook previews comment ranking use I don't know what that is comment ranking oh right I have that off because you know how it says you know most relevant comments and I want to see all the comments why the hell does Facebook decide anyways whatever that's why that's there <laughs> um okay so do, 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 view your public timeline no that's going to be oh yeah actually I wanted to show you this so if you click on this it's the same as there's another place to get it but if you click on this it shows your page as others see it you see how see I don't know why why is all oh, right because you can't click the ad friend but people will see this they'll see ad friend they'll see the message button and then they'll see these posts so if your posts are not public then you won't see any of these posts any of your posts there because you didn't make them public here's that's the other thing whenever you you can exit view as oh there's my face is in the way and you can see the exit view as right here right you just click on that to kind of leave and become you again um here's the thing whenever you're posting 
you should be posting public as well so when we talk about where's my notepad so when we talk about let's just reset me this okay so when you talk about making your profile your profile must be public your posts should be public as well so your comments on your posts so that's kind of what we just did the comments on post actually did we do that if I go back here and I go to uh is that here so profile and tagging settings I think that's the only place you get to it yeah okay so let's go back to here profile and tagging settings right public posts uh that's kind of what we did privacy is that in here privacy shortcuts your activity you can see your future posts things you're tagged in I'm just trying to see where that is there's a place where you actually set your people so your friend list friend who can see your friend requests oh interesting I don't know, whatever your friend list uh you can change these probably it's really up to you some people say don't show your friend lists right make your friend list uh private uh that's really up to you I don't I don't it's because what happens is uh, these trolls online that can actually go through your friend list to go and and you know they can they can create a fake profile with your picture and send a message to all your friends because your friend list is public to all your friends saying something like oh my god my profile got deleted can you uh, add me as a friend again and then that you know opens up for scamming and stuff right so you could maybe you know disable it but anyways uh who how to get message requests is that so I'm looking for profile Facebook information is it activity log oh that's just to download stuff hmm. I'm just looking to see the comments where is that where are you public comments profile who can post on your profile who can see what others post and uh, that's not what I want there's a place public posts who public oh there it is who can comment on your public there you go so that's one of the things that is uh, did I already talk about this well maybe I did but anyways okay so you got to make sure this is public because when you post a public when you post a public post then uh, the default is that nobody can comment on it except for a friend so if you go to I see that all the time because I I go through uh, find new people and stuff that means that you can't comment okay anyways I'm kind of like I haven't gotten to the list of of uh, a post but here's the thing so profile must be inviting that's you have to have your own picture your own bio your cover photo all that so that's all good so now let's just go back here and let's talk about <coughs> uh the post types oh let's talk, yeah right so you must be posting and you must be engaging on their posts so what does that mean so you have to be posting posts that fall in these categories right these categories so lifestyle posts engagement posts value posts now this is just one example I mean if you go online and you look at uh, other leaders talking about the kinds of posts that you can post they won't necessarily have the same list this is from Erin Birch this is what she teaches which I certainly totally agree with basically your post and this this says right here every post should have an objective <laughs> the objective of the post is always one of the objectives of every single post is to get people to know you right know what you're about know what your values are know what inspires you right knows they get to find out business and here's the thing for business posts product posts you want to make sure they're curiosity posts you don't post something like with you know the the bottle of your product or whatever like say for example I have this product here Let me take that. so I have this product here right this is a product that I you know can sell somebody if I want and I have this product here and I can post a picture of this and say oh my god this is so awesome I know but that's that's not a good idea because then people can see the product they can see the name of the product they can see the company name they can look it up and they can go find somebody else 
that has you know maybe that they like more that they that that person has more results than you and whatever and go sign up with them and buy it from them right so you don't want that right you don't want people to do that so what you can do instead is you can take this whatever the whatever the product is if it's say it's if a you take a spoonful a day or whatever it is I think this one is uh I forget but anyways uh but you show the little container with it and you show yourself taking it oh my god this is such a great product is giving me this and this and oh my god my or whatever it is that becomes a curiosity post because people are like oh that looks like a great result because you know maybe it's a weight loss thing maybe it's a it's a making you look younger maybe it's a giving you more energy whatever it is they that becomes a so that's what you definitely want to do that with products you don't want to be posting pictures of the product itself you want to be posting curiosity posts about the product story posts telling your story Facebook lives you do a video right I'm recording this it's not a Facebook live but it's going to be posted as a video um life so this is the thing right all these different posts but the idea is you have to be posting and now I'm not don't post like 10 posts a day don't post 10 of these every single day right over the and this is <coughs> why we talk about having like if I look back at these talking about a personal branding strategy content creation content marketing strategy the strategies that you put together and this is part of the workshop and part of <coughs> what this uh what you can learn from like I said the training I'd send you if you want if you want that training just let me know but the thing is that you can you if you your content marketing strategy is basically saying okay out of these posts <clears throat> out of these types of posts what do I post on Monday what do I post on Tuesday Wednesday or maybe it's only three times three times a week it doesn't have to be every day because in the end it's when somebody goes to your Facebook profile they'll see whatever post you posted in the last you know week or whatever it is the last five or ten posts they won't go scroll down to a year ago or whatever right but Facebook will show posts as well and they'll just post they'll show posts that get most engagement or get so that's and if you look at this list here you can actually you know if you want you can go ahead and screenshot this or pause the video and, and whatever but these are the kinds of posts you should be posting and you should be having you know you could just do a lifestyle post on Monday a value post on Tuesday a quote post on Thursday you know an entertainment post on on Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday and then Saturday and Sunday and then the next Monday and next Tuesday whatever you could do that sure um but if you want to do more engagement posts for example you can do three engagement posts a week you can do so the strategy itself depends on your amount of time that you have because it does take time to create to create posts it does take time to engage on posts it does take time to reach out to people it does take all the things that you need to be doing you know when we look at the first part here the build your audience engage your audience sell your audience I mean building your audience takes time engaging your audience takes time creating the posts and commenting on their stuff and everything else and then selling your audience is basically reaching out that's kind of like you know later on uh well it's not later on but my point is that there's lots of stuff you need to understand before you probably can sell your audience <laughs> you know you have to have social proof you have to have oh you don't have to because that's how you get social proof is the first few sales and getting customers to actually use your product and getting results and then you can have the social proof and if you don't have social proof social proof yourself of your own sales you can use other people's social proof like this product here I could post about how others are getting results it doesn't have to be my results yet at least in the beginning right because I don't have any results if I don't if I just got the product right and that's the thing you have to remember but you need those things to be able to do that and to like I said to grow your audience that's you got to get them to know you it's really it's it really is that simple and to get them to know you got to be doing these things that's it let's scroll down here so for them to know you you got to be doing that's that's really all it is if you want them to trust you you got to get them to you got to go through this and to do, do that you got to do that all right I hope that this kind of gave you some clarity on some of the things maybe you've been wondering about and if you have any questions always just reach out uh and if you want the real the training from you know Aaron Birch let me know I can send you that and uh hopefully you got some value and we'll see you in the next video
This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.